Next, Jimmy Fallon, Robin Williams, and Steve Martin are just some of the stars getting the historical treatment in Cliff Nesteroff's new book, The Comedians. I did get to talk to all my heroes, people like Mel Brooks, Fred Willard. Usually one person leads to another, so you'd interview one person on the phone. For instance, Tommy Smothers, I interviewed him and he said, well, have you talked to Steve yet? And I said, Steve? He goes, Steve Martin. I said, oh no, not yet. I must have lost his number. It's not every day you get a call from a comedic genius. That was actually one of the first interviews I ever did. We talked about this obscure comedian named Murray Roman, who had been his writing partner on the Smothers Brothers show. Based on over 200 interviews, The Comedians takes you down memory lane, shining light on the funny men and women who have changed American culture over the past 100 years. A stand-up comedian himself, Cliff has rubbed shoulders with some of Canada's best, too. In Vancouver, Brent Butt used to do this great show at uh, the Urban Well every Tuesday night, and that is really where all the comedians would hang out. Whether it was Robin Williams visiting to film a movie, everybody dropped into the Urban Well to do a set. He also knows all the good gossip. For instance, did you know that Stephen Colbert was Steve Carell's understudy at the Second City? Yep, it's true. Well, I just did a show uh, this last week in Brooklyn with uh, Robert Smigel. When he was writing for Saturday Night Live in the late 80s, Lorne Michaels sent him to Chicago to scout Steve Carell. And it turns out Steve Carell wasn't even on the show that night. But that night he saw Stephen Colbert, who was the understudy. So who does Cliff think is the comedy voice of today? I don't think there's ever one comedy voice of today. I mean, I have my favorites like Louis C.K. and Amy Schumer and Norm Macdonald. There are different comedians for different people.